Hello stampers! Welcome to Fabulous Friday. Today I'm going to show you just the basic cuts for a basic card, greeting card. Um, I'm Sally Allen, Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm Stampin' with Gas. So often I forget that beginning stampers don't automatically know off the top of their head what measurements we use to make a basic greeting card. So let me get started here. There are two, uh, well, first of all, let's start with our basic cardstock, which is eight and a half by 11. And so you wanna get two cards out of every piece of cardstock. So if your orientation is um, vertical, like it is here, um, you're gonna cut it in half by the eight and a half. So that's four and a quarter. If it's horizontal like this, you're going to cut it in half on the 11 inch side, which is five and a half. So let's start there because that's the most basic. So line it up on your trimmer and get your five and a half. And when I cut, I go ahead and leave my cut blade at the bottom because the next thing I'm going to do is score. And I don't want to accidentally grab that cutter blade. So for my basic card, I want to score it um, at four and a quarter. All right, so that's my eight and a half side. So four and a quarter is half. And I'm just going to bend it as it comes off of my trimmer, bend it this way and fold it. And then use your bone folder to flatten it. And always use the flat side of your bone folder because if you do this, you can break the fibers in the paper and it gets kind of shreddy on the on the fold side so just your flat side okay so there's another kind of card that you can cut too and that's using your paper going this way your card stock so it's going the vertical orientation and this is our eight and a half side so we're going to cut it this time at four and a quarter And then our score line will be five and a half. And again, pull it off, fold it this way, and then use your bone folder on the flat side. All right, so now you have a card that can open this way. It can open this way. And then the other one we cut can open this way or open this way. So you've got four options there with just the two different cuts. So now let's talk about layers. And if you want layers, so I've got my basic card right here. I've got my first layer in white and then another layer in the same color of um, Blushing Bride, pink. Okay. So this is just showing very little of those layers. And sometimes that's what you want. So we're going to be working with eighths of an inch. So my measurements here will be, so here, remember I had um, four and a quarter. So I just want, so a quarter, if you think in your mind, is two eighths. So there's one eighth right there. So I'm just going to get it on the one eighth, cut that. And then my other one is five, let me just show you here, five and a half. And so I want an eighth off of there. Oops, now I forgot which one I already cut. I cut that one. So, um, and I want that one. All right, so that's going to become, oops, knock my whole camera set up off here. That'll be my first layer here. Well, actually, my card is my first layer, then my second layer is that white, and then let's go ahead, since I have this green here, now we're gonna subtract an eighth of an inch because we have, we're working in eighths of an inch, so we want the next layer to be an eighth of an inch all around smaller 
then this, so it's going to be four by um, five and a quarter. So I'm gonna do the five and a quarter first, and then four. So I should have done it the opposite and done the, the white on top, but you get the idea here. Um, I could put another layer of white to do my decoration, depending on what I'm going to do with my card. So there's my three different layers there, and that's with the eighth, eighth of an inch measurements. So let's do that again. If you want more color, like on here, we're going to work in a quarter of an inch. So we'll take our um, card that we cut. Uh, let's use this one right here. So this time we're going to start with the four by five and a quarter. And let me get the pink. So I'm going to do four by five and a quarter. So that leaves more color around the edges, like so. So then our last layer will be minus a quarter of an inch, so it was four, so we'll go to three and three quarters. And um, this one was five and a quarter, so minus That'll make it five. Five and a quarter minus a quarter is five. See, I can do math in my head. <laughs> All right, so there are my layers with more color showing, and that's using quarter of an inch. And if you wanted to keep going, um, just always subtract a quarter of an inch on each, on one side, not all four sides, but one side, okay? All right. Now, your inside of your card is always um, four by um, five and a quarter. And what I do is take a whole package of basic white and a whole package of very vanilla, and I cut those and have them all ready so that I always have my insides ready. And I can use them on the outsides too if I'm using that quarter of an inch measurements. So that's how simple it is to make basic card greeting cards. That's how you begin with your uh, measurements. Thanks for stopping by.